Hello, my name is Carlene Melody. I'm an assistant professor at the University of Sciences, Philadelphia College of Pharmacy. On behalf of my co-authors, Elizabeth McCartney, Sanchita Sen, and Gladys Duenas, I would like to present an abstract for our literature review titled, Optimizing Care Transitions, the Role of the Community Pharmacist. Transitions of care, which is also known as care transitions, is defined as patients moving across institutions, amongst providers, between different levels of care, and to and from home. Complex healthcare systems lead to many opportunities for the transition of care process to become compromised. It's estimated that 25 to 45 billion dollars per year is spent on inadequate transitions of care in the United States. Evidence has reported that 60 percent of medication errors occur during transitions of care. One area that community pharmacists have shown positive outcomes with is medication therapy management or MTM. This framework could easily be transferable to be completed post-discharge to improve transitions of care by identifying or resolving medication-related problems. The objective for our article was to review current transition of care models in community pharmacy settings, specifically looking at the impact of community pharmacist interventions and patient satisfaction with those services. The keywords we use in our search strategy are listed in the purple box. We limited our, our search strategy to the English language as well as the last 10 years to gather the most relevant literature. First, we looked at studies that measured the effect of community pharmacists on medication-related problems. You can see the graph on the left depicts a, that a range of 25 to 95 percent of patients or prescriptions had at least one medication-related problem identified by the community pharmacist. Some examples of the medication-related problems identified in these studies are on the right, and they include side effects, practical problems such as improper use of the device, addition or discontinuation of medications, and dose changes. Other studies looked at community pharmacists impact on rehospitalizations. As you can see, Wherever a community pharmacist had an intervention, it was able, they were able to reduce rehospitalizations compared to the usual care groups in all three studies. There were many barriers for implementing transitions of care in the community pharmacy setting identified in the literature. Some of those included difficulty identifying patients, lack of information available to the community pharmacist such as a discharge summary, limited reimbursement models, and transition of care services being very time consuming. In conclusion, government initiatives have placed a greater financial accountability on healthcare institutions to reduce 30 day rehospitalization rates. Community pharmacists, who are often the first member of the healthcare team to interact with the patient post discharge, should be considered to be involved in the transition of care. Evidence supports the positive impact of community pharmacists on medication-related problems as well as 30-day rehospitalization rates. However, this evidence is limited, so future research is needed.